Hello and good morning children. I hope you all are doing fine. So in the previous class we have already started a new chapter. Chapter number 7. Human body the living machine. Isn't it? And I have already given you all a short introduction or a short description about the human body. Which is also known as a wonderful living machine. Isn't it? So, today's in this video, we shall learn about 8 important organ system. Alright? So, first one we have is the skeleton system. So, children, what is the skeleton system? We all know that our body is like a house. Okay? So, a house needs pillars and beams to build up. Similarly, the human body is also supported by a framework of hard and strong bones. So, this framework of hard and strong bones are known as the skeletal system. Alright? So, the skeleton helps us to stand straight and move forward. Okay? So, with the help of skeleton, we can stand straight or move around. Okay? And it contains 206 bones joined together. Alright. So, as you all can see in the picture, the skeleton system. So, let us see some functions of the skeleton. Number one, the skeleton gives shape and support to our body. As we all know, yes or no, with the help of skeleton, we stand straight and move forward. Number second, it helps the limbs and other parts to move. Number third, it also protects the internal organs of the body. Alright, so these were the functions of skeleton. So next organ system we have is muscular system. So muscles are attached to the bones by special cords called tendons. Or, okay. The bones in our body cannot move on their own. So, we use our muscles to move the bones at the joints. Alright? And all our muscles together form the muscular system. And we all know that there are more than 600 muscles in our body. So, let us see some functions of the muscular system. Number one. The muscles of our face help us to smile or laugh. Okay. Number second. The muscles in the jaw helps us to chew food. Number third. The muscles of the leg help us in running, jumping and kicking. Number last. The muscles in our shoulder and arms helps in throwing, writing, pulling and pushing. Okay, so these are the four points of the muscular system. So, without the help of the muscular system, we cannot do this several things. So, next topic we have is nervous system. So, what is nervous system? The nervous system consists of the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves. Okay. And our five sense organs are also part of the nervous system. And children, I'm sure you all are knowing our five sense organs. Yes. So, our brain is the controlling center of all our body functions like breathing, running, jumping and thinking. So, with the help of our brain, we all control and do different kinds of work like running, jumping and thinking. Yes. So, the whole body is covered with thin wire like tubes and these tubes are called nerves. So, the brain controls the body parts through these nerves. Okay. So, as you all can see in the picture, thin like a wire is known as nerves. Okay, so for example, when you want to pick up anything, the nerves carry a message from the brain to the hand. 
and the hand then picks up the object similarly the body organs also send messages to the brain through the nerves and again when you also want to touch a hot object the nerves in the skin sends a message to the brain and the brain orders the hand to move away from the hot object okay so next topic we have is the respiratory system so how this organs works so this respiratory system is the most important organ system in the human body why because in order to live or survive we have to breathe in or breathe out isn't it so breathing in and breathing out is called respiration and the respiratory system consists of nose windpipe and lungs okay so when we breathe in air enters the body through the nose then again it goes into the windpipe and finally enters the lungs again the lungs expand in size when air enters them that's why our chest expands so children in order to keep our lungs healthy we must not breathe in polluted air instead we must take or breathe in fresh air all right and do you know children the human heart pumps over 13640 liters of blood every day okay so that's all for today and once again you all go through the organ system whichever we have learned it today and remaining uh, we shall continue in the next class and uh, coming live class i am going to ask you all about this topics